talking about what she loved most, medicine. Tonight, her father describes his daughter's death in one word, senseless. We talked only to CBS 11's Aaron Jones about what he wants to see changed in the Fort Worth Police Department immediately. Aaron is live now in Fort Worth. Aaron. Steve, Tatiana Jefferson's father is obviously devastated. He's still processing her death. Here outside her house, you can see candles and flowers. People have been stopping by all day long to pay their respects. Jefferson's father says she was very loved, and now something good has to come out of this. He's working on a way, an impactful way, to keep her memory alive. Her mother called me uh, yesterday morning. She said... Tay was shot. Marquise Jefferson waking up to learn his only daughter was dead. I mean, it's senseless. My daughter was 28 years old. Had a whole life in front of her. Around 2 a.m. Saturday morning, Fort Worth police arrived at a Tatiana Jefferson's house for a welfare check. After her neighbor called them concerned, her front door was open. And I'm out. Nothing against the neighbor. I mean, hey, if he sees something going over there with my daughter, you need to uh, call the police. You know what I'm saying? But it's the way the police acted. In the body cam video, you see an officer walk through Jefferson's backyard to a bedroom window where she was standing. Put your hands up! Come here! Not even a full second later, she was shot. You have to know that there's somebody's daughter. Somebody loved her, and it was a better way. It didn't have to be like that. Jefferson, thankful for their final words. I texted her, said I love her, and she texted me back, said I love you too. The two shared a very special bond. When she was growing up, I read to her a lot. I, I bought her a lot of books. Oh, she loved to read. She reads all the time. Her mother tell me she and I read, 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 read. Reading fueled her passion for learning. Hi, my name is Tatiana Jefferson, and I'm doing lab exercise five. Jefferson going on to get a pre-med degree from Xavier University. Currently, she was working in pharmaceutical equipment sales, saving up for medical school. She had hopes. She had dreams. She had aspirations. We've lost it for no reason. I've seen many cases like this where you think that they would have learned from it. One like this Bolton, John, G. Uh, I don't want no hood. That's my one and only daughter. I'll never forget.